Hi everyone, this is Kathy Grosskirk with Bookkeeping Clean and Simple here in Austell, Georgia near Metro Atlanta. And today I'm doing a quick video to compare business view from accounting view in QuickBooks Online. And as you can see, I'm in the Kathy Bookkeeping test file. And basically, I'm going to show you how to switch between the two and some of the differences. Now, this is an older file and some of the newer files that are created particularly on or after October 2021, you're going to see some changes that are not reflected in this file yet. So when those these files hopefully will be updated to that newer platform, that newer feel, and I can get in there and show you a little bit more. But one of the things that you'll notice right away is that when you switch from Accountant View to Business View, you'll be able to see some things labeled a little bit differently in the left hand navigation as well as you'll also see the cash flow chart visible on the account dashboard but you don't see it here in account B. so let's go ahead and do the switch and this is a sticky setting it'll stay this way until you go back and change it but it's easy to just switch back and forth so we are like i said in account view right now or accountant view we're going to go ahead and switch to business view Okay, so now that we're in business view, what you can see is that the cash flow chart is here. And these are going to show us past transactions showing data from the linked bank accounts, your ins and outs over the months of the year. And you can also change this to uh, three months or you can change it to 24 months, which is a beta tool right now. So you can switch it, and this is also a sticky setting as well. So this will give you a view from various vantage points, but you can't see that from the accountant view. So this would be one reason to go ahead, and at least when you're on the dashboard, to switch. As you can see, the banking tab is turned into transactions. There's a few other little things in here that are different and stuff like that. So like I said, there's not really that many changes that we can show you right now, but when the newer platforms get rolled out to all the files, hopefully I'll have a chance to demonstrate that a little bit more clearly. Well, anyway, that's all I have for you today. I hope you all have a wonderful day. We'll see you soon. Take care, everybody. Thank you for watching. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and share it with others. My goal is to publish at least one new video per week on QuickBooks desktop or online topics, the occasional motivational video, and a few surprises thrown in here and there. I would love to talk to you about how to help you optimize your knowledge and usage of QuickBooks desktop or online. My Calendly link is in the slide. Please use that to reach out to me to schedule a free 45-minute initial consult. I would love to talk to you about your QuickBooks desktop or online training needs. Again. Have a wonderful day, and until next time, we'll see you soon. Take care.